Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, YouTube, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you for joining us on the Pip Getters YouTube channel. My name is Professor Pip. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please leave a comment. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the Euro Aussie breakdown. I didn't do any breakdowns this week, but I'm about to do like three of them. Okay, so hold on a minute. All right, so I'm going to do... The Euro Aussie today, and I'll probably do two more tomorrow, okay, of the trades that we took this week. Can't do all of them, but I'm going to do some ones that, you know, I figure are important and that'll help people kind of understand what we're doing. All right, so when we come back, I'm going to do the breakdown of the Euro Aussie, um, while we took the trade, while we looked at the pair, so on and so forth. The whole process, all right? So don't move. Thank you for joining us, and we'll be right back. Don't move. Welcome back. Welcome back, folks. This is a chart of the Euro Aussie. We took a long scalp. We took a long scalp. Um, the trend was down, so we counter trend for a few pips and the trend kept coming down. So it was a counter trend scalp. That day, price bounced off of some demand that day. So this is the day of the 22nd. This is the 22nd candle. I stopped at this candle on that date and I quoted it. Okay, I'm going to go down to a smaller time frame so you can see what I can see. All right, so this is the nine o'clock and this is the one o'clock candle. One o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, excuse me. So this is the candle before the candle I'm looking. All right, so what I saw was this green candle right here. Y'all know how much promote the big green and the big red candle. Okay, so I saw this candle at the open and I saw higher highs and higher lows. Higher highs and higher lows. And at the time, the Euro Aussie strong. Okay, so I'm not sure how many pips we made on it. Um, we also took the New Zealand dollar that day as well we took the new zealand dollar i'm probably going to do that breakdown as well so we took the euro aussie and the new zealand dollar that day we made about 650 bucks that day too as well all right so we're going to talk about that um when we come back you know obviously looking at other trades that we took i'm gonna do the other new zealand dollar trade probably tomorrow or later on but um back to the chart so price was bumping 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 then i saw this rally base rally and i saw these friends over here and i saw this rally base rally here and i saw 250 in this area which would be the number or the number this rally base rally right here so basically i'm just looking at price break highs and then i see a place where i can get in to continue the momentum so i stopped right at this rally base rally right here if you come to a smaller time frame this is the zone okay so this is the zone around the 250 area price came and hit the zone uh, i think we got a three to one a two we took a two to one and a three to one so our first target was a two to one, if I'm not mistaken. And our second target was a three to one. And this was during the Asia session. You know, that's my favorite. So price came, came, popped up. Hit target one, then hit target two. Okay. So just following the momentum of the market at the time. Okay, and the euro was stronger than the Aussie that night. Okay, 
So basically, I was looking at a daily candle. Sorry, the candle came back down. But I basically went long with this candle up into the supply for it to come down. So basically, when this candle was rising, I just hitched me a ride off of here to here. Okay, and then price continued to fall. And that's why I was a scout, because you, you know this is a downtrend. So you just want to get your little hot pocket and go. Okay, hot pocket and go. Okay, so make sure that when you're looking at trades, if you're going long or short, make sure you're going with the trend. And if you're not going with the trend, know you're only going to get a little bit probably. Okay, don't get your eyes too big if you're counter trend trading. All right. So, folks, I just wanted to break this trade down to your Aussie. Also, because it is the Aussies involved with it. We talked last week about how we trade pairs that are doing business during the time of day you trade. So, during the time I've traded, the Aussie is in business. Okay, because the Aussie is a an Asia session pair. Okay, or an Asian session currency, I should say. All right, so that's a reason why we picked the Euro Aussie because the Aussie is an Asian session pair. All right, folks, thank you for your time. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Just want to break this video down. I do have two or three more coming. Okay, sorry for the lateness, <laughs> the latency. I um, just had a few things to do this week running around. Uh, multifaceted business pip getters is okay so thank you again for uh joining us folks thank you for watching uh, please subscribe again and please leave a comment and also hit the like button okay appreciate you very much also as from pip getters love somebody other than yourself and as always trade smart and trade the chart all right thank you for much folks have a good one thanks for watching